All right, what's up everybody? Jared from Ravenwing here. Gonna talk a little bit about, um, I don't know, we'll call it my obsession, uh, the Langdon Tactical Berettas. Um, obviously I'm super proud to be sponsored by Langdon. Uh, really organic relationship. Ernest and Amy are amazing people. Um, and it's a blessing to be a part of that, uh, the name and the brand and have a chance to represent it. Um, so I'm gonna move left to right, talk about my three different Langdons here and sort of how and what I use them for in the different competitions. Uh, and we will uh, hopefully give you a little bit more information about a gun that I think you are sleeping on if you don't have one in your collection. So starting from left to right, this is the Langdon Tactical LTT92G Elite uh, chocolate chip version. So this was my first gun. Uh, it was my competition gun and I knew I needed a backup because I was starting to shoot majors. And so I was on the fence about how do I do that? And when I saw the chocolate chip edition, it was uh, a done deal. I literally bought it the day I saw it on Langdon. Um, this is absolutely one of my favorite guns. Uh, I'm also an FDE guy. It's what all my rifles are colored in. Uh, so this one really spoke to me. On this particular gun, uh, I'm running the Beretta Magwell, the Lock Grip Palm Swells, as well as the Hollow Sun 507 Comp. I also dropped in a tungsten guide rod because I shoot these in competition, but it's this, this is my primary EDC gun. It is on my CCW here in California. Uh, and it is obviously because I shoot with in competition so much the gun I am most comfortable with. Uh, and I absolutely love it. So if you don't know, what is really cool about the Langdon guns versus sort of the traditional Beretta you know, the Langdon Berettas is Ernest is, I think Amy calls him a gun engineer. I love that term. Um, Ernest uh, is a long time relationship with Beretta and he redesigned the internals on the slide for the Beretta in order to drop the dot lower on the slide. So if you can take a, sort of a little bit of a closer look, the traditional Beretta cut will sit on top of the slide. So it sits higher, almost the full width of this plate and maybe even into the optic a little bit. Um, to the side slightly. Like this? Yep, towards okay. the sun. There, there we go. go. It sits a little bit higher on that Beretta cut. Ernest, because he redesigned the internals, was, and it's a proprietary redesign, was able to drop this dot down to get you about as close to a co-witness on irons as you could possibly get. Now this one is running the suppressor height sights that come from Langdon. I know some people talk about with the rear sight being tall and the front sight being tall, it gets in the way. Let me tell you, friend, if that's in your way, you are not target focused. So there's my answer for that one. But obviously you could shorten up those both if you wanted to. Um, the plate and the screws come directly from Langdon. It's really easy to set up um, the red dot. There are proprietary screws that fit their plate. Um, so make sure you're running those appropriately. Ask me how I know. I've had to order some new posts because I got a little aggressive with the hollow sun screws. Um, but really I've had great luck with these guns. Um, a quick story, uh, I actually I'll finish with this one. My primary EDC gun, also the gun that I would shoot in IDPA because in IDPA carry optics, you can run a Magwell. Um, and because this gun is a little bit lighter than the Beretta 92X Performance or Performance Defensive, you can get away with the tungsten guide rod. And I traditionally, when I EDC, carry a light, usually the Surefire X300. And you can run AIWB, which is how I shot IDPA Worlds, from AIWB with a light on uh, and absolutely loved that setup. Okay. Moving on to the next one. So I mentioned it. This is the Beretta 92X Defensive. You know it's the defensive because over here we are missing the rail. So it has been, um, the rail has been removed and they actually have cuts inside of the slide to lighten the slide. When it comes from Beretta, it comes, or Langdon, it comes with the plastic guide rod, which is what actually allows it to make weight for IDPA. Uh, so it was designed to be about as heavy as you can make the gun legally for IDPA to run it in that style of competition. I actually have been running this gun in the USPSA limited optics division. So right now I have it set up for carry optics, uh, but there is a giant magwell that Lock Grip makes that you can put on this. Uh, and because it has a uh, frame mounted safety, it can be run in single action with the safety on, which is what is allowed in limited optics. So on the draw, to, to, uh, turn the safety off and I'm running the rest of it all in single action. Um, again, this gun is done up by Langdon. I have the lock palm swell. This is the, the Vertec, but this one gives you a little bit more of the traditional 92 grip style on it. But these are lock grips, the Wilson Combat uh, Mag Guide. 
It has the Langdon optimized trigger bar and I swear I've, I have put this on the trigger pull and it says two pounds on the single action. Anybody who shot this, it is as smooth as I have ever seen, as smooth as any 1911 I've ever shot, except for maybe AJ Zito's custom 1911. Um, it is really, really a beautiful trigger on this gun. Uh, a really smooth double action pull. It's maybe a little bit heavier than my traditional uh, 92Gs, um, but the single action is, I, I mean, I think I blink and it, and it would go. Um, I absolutely love it. Um, the weight on this is also really impressive. So I did shoot one carry optics match with this gun. I shot the Barry's Red Rock uh, in Utah at the St. George range there um, and really enjoyed it. So we may play with that a little bit more this year, but predominantly it has been my limited optics gun. Like all of my Berettas, of course, we are running uh, the Hollow Sun 507 Comp, which on this gun as well, sits on the Langdon cut into the slide. So again, a little bit deeper and lower than the traditional Beretta red dot mounting solution. And then last but not least, um, and hopefully this gives you an idea of the flavor you can run on the different Berettas. Uh, this is my original, my pride and joy. You can tell it is well used, including dry fire on a holster that I did not notice the screw was protruding slightly on. And so we've, uh, we've put some marks on the frame. Um, I have now over 75,000 rounds on this gun. Um, and it is like an extension of me. Um, this one I'm running the thin lock grips these are the aluminum lock grips which langdon recently released with their logo on it which i absolutely love um some of the the like the tackiest grips i've ever had um on on a gun so you can see that they're a little bit thinner than maybe the traditional palm swell if i can do those side by side hopefully my hands aren't screwing up the sun uh, the, shadow. the shadow try to get rid of the shadow the best okay. as you can how's that uh and then flatter like, like that no to the side this way yes okay all right, so <laughs> yeah, a little bit go. more angle. There, we, there go. we go. Okay, perfect. All right, so you can see a little bit of the difference. This one has an actual palm swell. These ones are the thin. So both are from Lock, both tacky. The aluminum I find a little bit more tacky and it adds just a touch more weight than the, uh, the polymer do. Um, so this is my competition gun. This is the gun that I made master in carry optics with. This is the gun that I made master in IDPA carry optics with. This is also the gun that I made grandmaster in USPSA with. Um, and so this one has been with me now for almost three full years. Um, and has shot every match, every classifier, almost every practice session that I have had. Uh, it is also, because I carry this one so much AIWB, this one's had a ton of classes AIWB as well. Um, and so I traditionally, like I said, will run a light and in my MSP holster um, is how I will, will run these guns. The only things that I have had to do to this gun with 75,000 rounds on it, uh, obviously you wanna change your springs, you wanna maintain your springs, but I snapped off two of the screw heads in the slide and had to send it back to Langdon. They took great care of me, got, got the screws drilled out and my slide returned in time for me to actually shoot area two this year with it. And I stripped out one of these screws because I was cleaning it so often with so many rounds through it. So I just very quickly ordered a couple of replacement grip screws and they sit in perfectly. Like all of them, it has the proprietary Langdon cut into the slide to drop the dot about as low as you can go. Uh, and I am running the 507 comp on it. Um, I would tell you on this one, the trigger pull in double action is probably the smoothest of my three. And I think that's a function of how many rounds I have on the gun. Um, it's coming in at under, it's like 4.7 pounds uh, and it's just smooth like butter all the way through. And the single action on this one comes in actually just a touch heavier than this one, which is a little weird. Um, it's at 2.1, but again, I, it's the gun I shoot so much that I don't notice really any set difference between the 292 Gs um, that I'm running. Um, I do keep my, my iron sights on. You don't have to, especially in competition guns if you don't want to. But again, I would tell you if the iron sights are getting in the way of your dot, let's get target focused. Um, so I'll flip it over just so you guys can see the other side a little bit less marring. This one, like I said, is the NP3 coating. So you'll see the NP3 coating on all of the parts. Um, like the other 92G, I am running the match hammer on this particular gun. So it, when you order the NP3 coating, it comes with an NP3 coated hammer. I dropped the match hammer in, which lightens the trigger pull just a little bit, a um, little bit smoother. Uh, and I think because it's designed that way for competition, it, it made a ton of sense. Uh, it was really easy to fit. These guns are really easy to clean, to maintain, to take care of um, the replacement of the springs. It has just been an absolute workhorse for me. Uh, and I could not be more proud to represent the Langdon brand and shoot this thing every chance I get. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this. We talked a little bit about um, my Langdon Berettas. Um, we would love to see you come out to a class with us and train uh, with Ravenwing Limited. You can find us on Instagram at Ravenwing Limited. You can find us online. It's ravenwinglimited.com. Please go check out Langdon. They are Langdon Tactical or LTT, Langdon Tactical Technologies. Uh, it's, I believe, langdontactical.com. Um, but if you type in Langdon Tactical in Google, you'll absolutely pull them up. Ernest and the team are doing all kinds of crazy cool stuff with Berettas, with Glocks, with H&Ks, <coughs> excuse me, um, just absolutely gungeoneering, all kinds of really cool stuff. Uh, if you haven't, go check out my partner Ethan's video on his Langdon Tactical Beretta 1301 shotgun. Absolutely worth the watch. Um, I think, like the 92, they have made a mark on the 1301 that not a lot of other people are ever going to come close to touching. Um, but come train with us. I'll let you shoot my guns. I'd love to have you uh, run it. Uh, take that drug and go down that rabbit hole yourself <laughs> uh, because it has hooked me from the first time I picked it up. So appreciate your time. Thanks for checking us out. See you on the range.